fellow chat chums let's head on out to the garden to our little spot here and have a little visit it's a lovely day it's nice and cool and overcast so uh, it should be good to film outdoors so let's sit in our little garden corner and have a little visit well I know I have you really far away from where I'm sitting but I figure one of the joys I love of this little spot that we're fixing up for us to share here online is the view so you don't necessarily have to sit that close to me <laughs> So today I want to talk about um, the, the next sketch I'm doing for the Lalonde book, which again, the Lalonde, Lalonde book does not actually exist. Um, and I've been reading all the comments, and a lot of you have mentioned possibly just letting um, Lalonde know digitally with a little hint that I'm working on it and that I want to send it as, as a surprise, not to tell Stephanie so that she can actually be surprised. I have already ordered the, uh, a print of the piece I've already shared with you, the cover. Um, and today I want to share with you the sketch. Uh, I've roughed out a couple of sketches, but I have one sketch that's just pencil and watercolor that I'm going to show a little bit of process today. Now be kind because it's definitely first layer sketch. It is not the detailed finished piece. So, um, but I wanted to share that today. And boy, trying to work on my artwork and also film and do sound and everything, it's a lot. But I'm determined to stick with my three videos a week and in a way it's sort of forcing me to um, do more because I know I have such a regimented schedule now so I am determined to stick with it and maybe I'll get easier maybe it will become easier as I do it more often I don't know but so today let's look at our sketch which I'm going to show you now and then um, we'll talk about that and then I'll probably that's probably all I can really manage for today's video but again I want to thank everyone who has subscribed I want to thank everyone in the chats I love meeting all of you in the chats it's so much fun it, and it makes this channel become a thing that I didn't even think it could be where I feel more connected with all of you so um, oh, as was my birds in the background the other day I think a boat is coming in now I'm not sure if you can see it oh good I'm not sure if you can catch it but in the background one of the shell fishermen are coming in on their boat which they do of a morning so it might be kind of interesting footage hopefully you're getting that if not, it probably just sounds like there's an odd sound in the background. But such is a joy of filming outside by the seaside. So let's get to the drawing. Oh, yes. So thank, thank you, thank you, everyone who's subscribed. I can't believe it. This morning I got up and I'm, now that I'm actually getting comments, I'm trying to also make time to answer everyone because I'm so excited to have people interacting with me. So I'm trying to, in the evening, sit down and try to answer comments. And then in the morning, I try to get a few comments. And this morning, I couldn't believe it. I'm almost at 500 subscribers. I'm so excited. I mean, again, to any normal YouTuber, I'm sure that sounds silly. But to me, I mean, that's beyond what I had hoped for, considering my original goal was 100. <laughs> So, um, and that's thanks to all of you. But I, I just want to say I love that we can hop. I feel like a merry crew, all of us, just going from the Lalan chat to um, all the other chats, going to the uh, um, Escape to Rural France. Uh, Michael Petrick's when it's available. I still don't know if I missed his last chat or not. And then um, last night being able to go to the uh, On the Little Voyage with Stephanie and her friend and her mother that was fun it's I just I feel this now I feel like my blog is somehow being more connected with all of you through our love of Lalonde but I still want my channel to exist in its own right as well I don't want to feel I'm stepping on anyone's toes all right well I think I've um, yammered on long enough but at least we've got to sit in the garden so let's go inside and I'll show you the sketch again very very rough sketch with just some digital water watercolor it's just a placeholder and I did do a little bit of script as well which I'll read to you all right, so let's go do that. So here you can see the sketch, and you can see that Diesel is playing a part in this page, and he has his Dutch hat and Dutch ruff on. 
And in the background is a Lalonde. And you will see I'm calling this little Pichik Ian number four because he is the same little Pichik who's in the forefront of the cover piece we did. And now again, this is a very, very rough sketch. I work in multiple layers and this is um, like the second layer after I've sketched it out and now I'm just playing with watercolor just to get a feel for color and to make sure I like the placement. So again, it's quite childlike this drawing at this point because it's just pencil, charcoal, and some watercolor. But um, we have Ian number four racing to um, talk to Diesel, who's in the garden in the sunshine, as a balloon in the distance uh, alights over the land covered in fortuny fabric, which you'll see on the cover of the book, the pea chicks and the mother hen are wearing fortuny fabric. So this is sort of a play on that. So again, this is the rough sketch. I'm figuring out where the placement should be and I'm thinking about the upper left corner being the spot where the text can be. And then here you can see I've placed the text. Now this again is very, very rough and I, I put it into, after I sketch this out, I put it into Photoshop and just put the text in. And again, this may just be never an actual book, but just say six or seven pieces that are like vignettes from a book. But I really wanted to have it laid out as if it were a book with text in it. So let me go ahead and read to you what I wrote. Look up to the heavens, cried out Ian number four, stumbling and tripping over his growing peachic legs. Oh my, cried Diesel, looking upwards. Tis a balloon of fortuny fabric. Our mistress would be well pleased were it to pop and flop down into the garden. No, came Ian number four's retort. Not the balloon, but who is inside? And pray, who is inside, came Diesel, trying to lounge in the warm summer sun and not wanting to be pestered by impertinent peachicks. It's only Lord Percy returning to his lady, Queen Isabel. Won't she be pleased, flapped Ian number four, landing on Diesel's head, causing him to harumph. Harumph, came Diesel, concerned over the state of his hat. Diesel considered the balloon and Lord Percy and the yards and yards of Fortuny fabric and said, Our mistress will be doubly pleased when she spies all that Fortuny. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, sharing that sketch with me. Um, as I said, it's very rough. Um, and I like, tell me what you think of the, the script and such. And as I'm, uh, I really do think possibly if we don't consider an actual book, which is quite a bit of time. I mean, I could possibly do a full book only if Ch Chateau Lalande felt it was appropriate. My plan right now is I was thinking, how nice would it be until, or if it isn't going to be a book, or until we decide if it can be a book, if I just do um, a few standalone pages as if they are individual pieces of artwork, but in the vignette sort of feeling of little bits of story as if it's come from a storyline so it's almost like a series like I love to do series in my artwork um, one of my favorite series I did was animals and chairs and I did animals with teapots so I just did like it was almost a storyline but it, there was no words it was just a series of paintings of different animals in chairs in different situations in different scenarios so maybe we could approach it that way and we'll see if that's maybe the best way to go so but leave your comments and let me know what you think um, but for now uh, for this Floral Friday, uh, today's Wednesday on Friday, uh, I might be doing some plantings, but I'm also still going to share some sketching because I realize now this is such a big project that in each of my three posts, I'm most likely going to be sharing sketching. So hopefully that won't be too boring, or maybe that's why you want to come here. <laughs> and as we were in uh, with Chateau Lalande the other day, going on their little journey, um, and then when they returned home and there was opera playing, and then there was a dance party in the kitchen. I just thought that was so much fun. So even though I'm here by myself, I so wanted to get up and dance and I thought, you know what, even though I'm here by myself and some of you may be home alone as well, who says we can't get up and dance? We're all connected digitally. So maybe I'll end this video with a fun little beach time dance party.